Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan and today we're going to be talking about how you can get items for free from the Eververse so without using silver and also how you can earn the Bright Dust which is what you use to buy the things from the Eververse. So if we run over here and we look at the Eververse quickly, you can access the shop from Orbit but I decided to just come to the tower. So if we look and see in the Eververse here, these items down at the bottom on the first page are all available for Bright Dust. These get you other resources and these here are items that you can buy. So you can see here that there's a couple of ships and there is a sparrow this week on the front page. Now if we go down to this second from the bottom tab here, this is the Bright Dust tab. So this entire tab, you can buy things in here for Bright Dust. So there's ornaments for armor, there's ornaments for weapons. I'm actually going to buy this one. That's actually, I don't have that, so. I'm going to go ahead and buy that weapon. And then there's ghosts, there's uh, emotes you can buy, more vehicles. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can actually buy things with the Bright Dust, but now I want to show you guys how you can earn the Bright Dust in Destiny 2 in 2020. So the Bright Dust sources, um, the ways that you can earn it are kind of limited, but you can do them constantly. So the ways that you earn Bright Dust, if we go into our map here and we go over to our quest tab, we're going to look at our bounties. You get Bright Dust rewards for completing weekly bounties from the Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit. And then all of the bonus bounties for Vanguard, Crucible, Gambit, and Gunsmith will all reward bright dust. So how much do you get for a weekly? Let's claim this bright dust or let's claim this weekly here. And you'll see on the right hand side that you get 200 bright dust for completing one weekly. So for weekly bounties that means that you can get 600 bright dust per character because you can do this on all three of your characters. So then we'll go over here and we'll look for a bonus bounty. So the difference between a daily bounty and a bonus bounty is the daily bounty will say daily bounty right under the title for what you have to do in the bounty. So the second thing at the top of the screen there. And then this one will say uh, Vanguard bounty and some of them and some of the vendors say repeatable bounty. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to claim one of these. And you can see that you get 10 Bright Dust for completing one of those bonus bounties. Now, the best way where you can farm, I, depend, it depends on your skill level and how used to this you get. Um, the more Bright Dust you want, obviously the better at this method you're going to get. But you can, you can grab the 5 bonus bounties for Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit. Then you go to Orbit, you do 1 Strike. And either you can do the strike or you can go ahead and just go to a lost sector. Then you do one match of Gambit and then you do one match of Crucible. And again, it depends on your skill level and how efficient you are. But you should be able to finish in one of each of those things. You should be able to finish all 15 of those bounties. And then you simply come back to the tower and do it again. Now, if you don't like all of the activities, you can farm one specific activity. But by, get, by, by doing all three, it cuts out having to come back to the tower every single time. And the loading screens are going to be your enemy if you're trying to get a ton of Bright Dust per hour. Um, you could get anywhere from 100 to 500 Bright Dust per hour if you're doing this method. It's probably around 100 to 300 if you're only farming one specific type of activity. But if you farm all three, you could probably get upwards of 500 uh, if you get really, really good and efficient at farming out these bounties. So what is another way that you can gain Bright Dust? Well, if we go over to the Eververse here again, and you can access this from Orbit then you'll see here that there are things called luminous engrams. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see if we can get ourselves a luminous engram. So we got a luminous engram there for trading in a bounty. And that was just a regular bounty. So every time you trade in bounties, I think you have the chance to get a luminous engram. Or maybe it's XP based. I'm not too sure. But if we trade in all of these bounties here and then we go back and check our milestones i'm not sure that we completed the milestones okay we did so we completed the milestone and we leveled up so from trading in those bounties we got one luminous engram now if we go over here to the eververse take a look, 
and we open our luminous engrams, we have the opportunity to get parcels of bright dust. You can also get a ton of old Eververse items. So you can get a ton of ships and ghosts, all those kinds of things. Um, so you can see there that we just got the Gyro Ghost Shell, which is an exotic ghost shell. If you wanted to purchase that, if it became available and you wanted to purchase it for Bright Dust from the shop, that would cost you 2,850 Bright Dust. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to open up all of the Luminous across all of my uh, characters and we'll just see what I get. But um, if this is, if you just wanted to know how to get Bright Dust, that's fine. But if you want to see the Luminous openings, then stay tuned. So we quickly jumped on my Titan here because I think I have one or two. So we d we're not going to go to the tower, but we're just going to quickly tab over to store. And you can open up your luminous engrams here. So we have one. So there you go. So I got 250 bright dust as a small gift of bright dust from opening these luminous engrams. So I'm going to go ahead and open this other one. And then I have a ton of them to open on my main. There we go. So we got a weapon ornament, which again is a couple thousand bright dust if that were to become available in the shop. So let me hop over to my main, my warlock. And we're going to open up, I think, 20 plus luminous engrams here. Another way that you can earn Bright Dust is by using Luminous Engrams. So like I mentioned before, you have the opportunity to earn Luminous Engrams from trading in your bounties. And you also have the opportunity to earn Luminous Engrams from completing um, levels in your Season Pass. So this is both for free and paid people in the Season Pass because all the Luminous Engrams are up at the top. So when you're leveling up in your season pass, you have the ability to unlock a ton of these luminous engrams. So I'm going to go ahead and claim a couple of them here. And then we will go through and uh, I'm going to open them up all the luminous engrams that I have here. And we can see the types of rewards that you can receive. So we're going to tab over to the shop here. And I should have 10 in the inventory here. So I have 10 ready and then I have a bunch more in the past. So let's open these up and see what we get. So we got a small gift of Bright Dust. So that's 250 Bright Dust that we just received from this Luminous Engram. You can get three different sizes of packages of Bright Dust, I think up to a thousand. So we're just going to keep opening these up here. You can get ghost shells, you can get ships, you can get exotics, um, you can get weapon ornaments. You can see there that we just got an exotic emote, the popcorn emote. And we're just going to keep burning through these here. I got a weapon ornament for the beloved. Another ship, another ship, <laughs> we'll go through a ghost shell, and you can see there that I got an exotic weapon ornament, which would cost me thousands of bright dust if I wanted to buy that in the shop. So let's go back over to the seasons tab here, and we're going to collect all of the rest of these luminous engrams that we have, and we're going to go through and open them all here. Sorry, that's actually a pretty epic sound when you grab the engrams there. Alright, so we're going to have to come back and grab a few more. But let's go over to the shop and we'll just spam through these and see if we can get some more bright dust here. So we got another ornament. There we go. We got an exotic ship. Again, that would cost me thousands of bright dust. So would the weapon ornament and so would that ornament. All of these things are just saving you uh, having to spend bright dust if they become available in the store. But we've only gotten one gift, now two gifts of Bright Dust. And then right before this, I did open um, an engram on my other account and also got a small gift of Bright Dust. But as you can see, you don't get a ton of Bright Dust from these. But and instead, you do get items that you would use the Bright Dust on anyways. So we'll go through and we'll open up these last two here. And then we're going to grab out whatever we have left in our Season Pass quickly. And we will open those up as well. So we have four or five left, something like that. So we'll grab these. Three, four, five. Oh, we have tons left. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go through and we're going to open these up here. We're going to go back to the store and see what we get out of these last few here. That one was not very good. That is really, really cool. That ornament looks really dope. Nothing, nothing really. You get a bunch of shaders and stuff from this as well. Some ghost shells. The ghost shells can have really cool perks. So keep that in mind. And we'll go through and 
any more bright dust one more small gift of bright dust so we ended up getting around a thousand bright dust from that so we got a little unlucky for the bright dust but we did get super lucky with exotic ornaments and ships and ghosts things like that so uh, I just wanted to make this video it's a little bit long I know but I just wanted to make this video just to show you guys the different ways that you can earn bright dust and also earn luminous engrams and then get bright dust and really cool exotic items ghost shells ships sparrows all of that stuff weapon ornaments from these luminous engrams so i hope this video helped you guys thank you so much for watching have a great day everybody